All right, we are back to seduce me. I have God, no, I have no fucking idea how long it's been since we played this. Yeah, we just found out about uh about the Kickstarter for Seduce Me too, so we figured it was a good time to do this. Well, I I think that it's a Kickstarter. I'm not entirely sure. Seduce Me Two is at least in the works. God, the art is much better from what I've seen in uh, Seduce Me Two. There's like three people that I have to voice on this screen. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh god. Okay, well, let's start I see this why up. we stopped playing. Yeah. What, what do we want to do? Do we want to stay with the annoying boys, or do we want to go out with the annoying girls? Uh... I guess it depends. Do you want to voice the guys, or do you want to voice Suzu? That's a very good question. I don't know. You seem to want to fuck Suzu. I do want to fuck Suzu. Or at and least I can. would, if we weren't... We can, like, right? Can we? Like, isn't that an ending? Can't we fuck Suzu? I don't know. Haven't we talked about that before? I don't know. Whatever. Where did you even get that idea? We're going out with Suzu and Naomi. Your turn. Oh. Oh. Are you sure? <laughs> Is that my voice for her? <laughs> Probably. I'm sure. I trust these guys to be able to work everything out. Oh. Oh, fuck. Southern drawl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for trusting us, miss. Oh, God. <laughs> we'll have everything done for you by the time you return home. Ugh. Alright, we'll, like, wait here while you go get your things. I was strangely relieved to know that everything was going to be okay while I was gone from the house. I trusted the guys enough to do everything they could for this house party, so my mind focused itself on hanging out with my friends. House party? Yeah, no, her family was just like, throw a party! For for us, but also for yourself! That, that doesn't sound familiar at all. Well, it's been, like, what, like, I don't know, a, a year since I, we fucking... I, it hasn't been a year. It's been a long... Well, it's 2016 now, so... You're right, it's been a year. <laughs> Eventually, I was at the door, walking towards Naomi's car with Naomi and Suzu. Suzu grabbed the entire back seat... Grabbed the entire back seat and ripped it out of the car just for no fucking reason. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando. As I sat down in the passengers on the passenger side like a normal goddamn person, Naomi started the car that now lacked a back half and drove off towards the city. Poor girl. Oh my god, this car is huge. My god. <laughs> it was nice driving out with my friends. After all that had happened, it was good to just go and forget my troubles. Well, like, since we got you out of the house, we might as well go to the mall and, like, walk around a bit. We did just eat, like, breakfast after all. What time is it here? Yeah, that is really weird. It's yeah. one in the morning here, so... Uh, oh, wait. Oh, that's the channel. <laughs> <laughs> it is 96 o'clock. <laughs> He thought the fair was the time. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that was a good meal, though. Could have had more flavor, in my opinion. Did you even eat with us? <laughs> uh, whatever. I, I don't even remember. I'm not going to get into it. Suzu, you eat chili peppers when you're bored. Everything you eat always, like, needs more flavor. Oh, my God. Um... Uh still can't oh, uh, we're trying to fuck Suzu so you need to teach me <laughs> yeah teach me the art of eating peppers you just need to eat spicy food all the time you gotta tame your mouth oh god I'll tame your mouth <laughs> tame your mouth like really Suzu sounds difficult uh, anyways after the mall what do you want to do we could like go to the pink lady cafe and chill out with Kay who the fuck is Kay is Kay that bitch I don't know okay, well I'm sure she'd, like, love the company. But we have to stop by the arcade. They have this new game out called Orion. You get to control this guy named Isaku, not Orion. <laughs> and you are part of the rebel forces, and you get to shoot things, and there's robots, and... Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Sheesh! We get it, Suzu. We get it. We'll go to, like, the arcade. Yeah. <laughs> Which one first, though? You know how popular Kay is. She'll be swamped with customers later in the day. Do we get another choice? I'd rather go in the late afternoon. She has better options during the last half hour, last hour at a cafe. Has better options? What the hell type of world are they living in? So basically, after the arcade... You figured me out so quickly, Patterson. <laughs> what did I tell you about using, like, my last name? Only during sex. I will fucking kill you. Well, let's go to... Uh, the arcade. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Oh god. Frog ish. Frog ish. <laughs> Sweet. What the fuck? Sweet Warrior. 
uh, Suzu's head is blocking it, but it says SU, so I assume that says Suzu Taxi. Allie, that says Street Warrior. I don't even, I can't even oh, see that the does, warrior. that does say Street, street Warrior. Ah, uh, Sweet Fighter, my favorite candy-based <laughs> fighting game. <laughs> Shut up, I've told, I've, I'm fucking dyslexic and you know it. So we headed to the mall and walked around for a good amount of time before driving out to Moonfall Arcade. As weird as the name sounded, the arcade was one of the best arcades in the city. You have more than one? Sweet. There is, like, no arcade where I live. Like, sh- I wonder if there's still an arcade in the bowling alley. Uh, I'm surprised that bowling alleys are a thing that exists. Let me still. amend that que- Let me amend that that uh, that thought. I wonder if the bowling alley is still a thing. <laughs> yeah, good good fucking question. God only goddamn knows. Okay. Kids and teenagers lined the games, watching the players at the consoles as they anxiously waved to have their turn. Sorry, waited to have their turn. Can't read tonight, apparently. Ooh, ooh, there it is. There it is. Suzu grabbed Naomi and me by the hands before dragging us to a section of the arcade where a bunch of kids had gathered in awe and excitement. In the middle of the crowd was a large game with two joystick platforms and a screen that flashed the name Orion every other second. In the background of the screen, a holographic playfield yep, play glimmered before us, revealing a neo-futuristic battlefield and an enemy robot charging right at the camera. Oh god, it's coming right at us! <gasps> This is the game you were, like, excited about? This is retro garbage. (laughs) (laughs) Get on my level, scrub. It looks really cool. That's right. I'm gonna play it so hard, I'll beat the game in one shot. Oh, bullshit. I thought you were gonna say, I'm gonna play it so hard, the machine's gonna break, and no one will be able to play it again. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Like Garnet in that one episode. Uh Uh-huh. Suzu smirked and looked at me, hoping that I would join her as I usually did for partner games. I looked to Naomi, who merely rolled her eyes, crossed her arms, and gave me the okay nod. I grinned before nodding to Suzu, who cheered in joy. Oh. Oh, she's cute. Oh my god, you are so much cuter when you're not in a regular, uh, sprite style. Woohoo! Alright, let's do this. It took us a good half hour before we were able to step up to the platforms. The point of the game was to beat the government and restore freedom to the general public. Oh, boy. You know, if you we... told me this was a boy, I wouldn't be surprised at all. And yeah. I would like this character just as much. Mm-hmm. It, it's very, it's very um, masculine art right Man, here. I am just so it's also, gay. <laughs> it is also completely different from the background. Like, I'm, I think that the... I, mm, ah, the Electron, my favorite game. Yeah, and, and you are not playing Orion, Suzu. No, she is. This is Orion. What? Yeah, she's at this one. Oh, God, the perspective is so weird. Yeah. Oh, God, okay. Why would she be playing that one, like, at that weird angle? She'd be breaking her spine. Dude! I'm not super, Speaking like... Speaking of my spine. Ugh. Yeah, you do that. Um, We played as Rebels in a robot... And the game quickly became a smash and bash game versus multiple enemy robots. Okay, lots of robots, I guess. Playing with Suzu was always an adventure. We both knew what our strengths and weaknesses were, so it was easy to collaborate with each other. It wasn't long before we got into the swing of the game and were beating enemies like crazy. By the time we got to the boss, we were unstoppable. It was so refreshing to beat the boss and put our three-letter code names into the high score list. Why refreshing specifically? It wasn't a fight. It was a conversation. (laughs) Oh my god. And that's how you game. We are unstoppable, Anderson. Yeah. Suzu gave me a large smile, which made me smile back. I was happy to be able to hang out and have fun with my friends like this. I felt free from worries or responsibilities. It was something I loved. Almost as much as I loved Suzu. (laughs) We eventually lost track of time and wound up staying longer than we expected, making us unable to stop at the cafe before going home to dress for the housewarming party. Oh, God. Pardon me. So, we drove back. Naomi and Suzu picked up clothes and other necessities from their houses before driving back to the mansion. Did we skip what Naomi wanted to do? Like, completely? I I guess so. I I thought we were going to do that after the arcade. I assume that it was like... I guess fuck Naomi. Yeah, I assume if you wanted to fuck Naomi, you would have gone to the cafe. Alright. But, uh, I, I don't even know. The hour of the house party had arrived. In my mind, I kept double and triple checking the essentials for the party. Knowing my dad, he invited his business partners and the executives of the Anderson Company to show me off. And beat me in front of them. <laughs> I stood in front of my, uh, of my mirror in my room, staring at my form as a million thoughts ran through my mind. It was just a housewarming party, but at the same time, it wasn't. It was my chance to show my dad that I was better than his expectations. It was a chance for me to see my parents as a... To see my... Oh, okay, yeah. I I get what you're saying. It was a chance for me to see my parents as a woman. It was my test to see if I was really ready to live on my own. And I'm not ready. (laughs) 
<laughs> I mean, apparently not because she's living with like eighteen guys. Well, not does true. She oh, a, okay. Does she even have enough room for all those guys? Probably not. She doesn't have enough holes for it. That's for that's sure. What I was, that's what I was alluding to. Well, that's what I was uh, alluding to. Shut the fuck up. Well, not truly alone. I had the incubi to thank, but even so, I didn't have my dad guiding me or my mom helping me through living alone. A knock on my door broke my thoughts, surprising me. Who is it? Uh, oh no, that's me. Yeah, that's. Hey, are you like okay in there? Your parents should be here soon, so you should hurry getting ready. Well, I'm ready, but. But what? I'm sure you look fine, Anderson. Just come on out. Let me see that ass. Come on out. Admit that you're gay for me. Oh my god. All right. If you insist, I'll tell you that I'm gay. Oh, they're cute. That is oh, a really nice cute. dress. Oh, shit. As soon as I opened the door to the hall, I watched as Naomi and Susan's faces turned from smiles to complete awestruck stares. What? Dude. <laughs> you look hot. Oh, no. Yeah, you look, like, amazing. Where did you get that dress? I've had it for a while. I just never had the chance to wear it. I figured I might as well bring it out now. All right. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, we'll see what these guys have to say next time. What? Um, oh, yeah, I guess it's a fair enough time. Um, we will be back it's got, uh, whenever I edit the next episode. <laughs>